guys welcome back to my channel um i'm starting this video now because i'm sorry for the noise from the fan up at the top but i can't turn it off i'm starting this video off a little ah! off like hey. We got here yesterday, um, we're staying in Key West, and we got here yesterday, mind you, we have like a three hour drive from home to here. Um, <laughs> you can't get out, Sophia. Um, and, you know, everything was fine. Um, I was uh, having Braxton Hicks like all previous days but you guys see that i drink a lot of water like that's not an issue for me because i always share it on my instagram story like i drink a lot of water like some days i drink like four or five bo uh, bottles of water it's not an issue because i enjoy drinking the water especially if it's cold um but yesterday um I was started getting a lot more Braxton Hicks than the usual and even on I didn't do anything crazy like I just chilled at home until we left the house and I woke up packed we packed everything in the car and on our way over here like I felt a few Braxton Hicks um, like just constant tightening and my doctor had told me that if I ever got Braxton Hicks like within like five or six of them within an hour then it was concerning so like around seven we went out we went to a shop um, and I was concerned so I called my on-call nurse and she said okay from what it seems like you are concerned about your Braxton Hicks and if you have pressure and all of that then you it could be either three of the things you could have a uti you can have um dehydration or you are dilating so you need to go get checked and i told her but i am out of my city so there's no way that i can go to that hospital it's literally like three hours away or more and she said okay then you need to go to your nearest hospital so we got out of the shop and it was just something i didn't feel i didn't feel like it was a normal so i ended up we ended up looking for a hospital nearby and i'll insert like pictures here that way i can like document it and like you can see um we ended up ernest ended up taking me to a hospital mind you we're in Miami-Dade, which is where COVID is at its peak. Like, worse than any other place. I got down, went in through the ER, and, you know, they're, like, treating me as I'm, like, a COVID patient, literally. Everyone is wearing crazy amounts of masks on and, like, shields and... Some of them were even wearing like those things that look like gas masks and it was just like wow. So Sophia's like Sophia, get off there. Get off, get off, get off. Um so they come and they pick me up in a wheelchair. Um they come and pick me up in a wheelchair and they take me to the second room they to second floor they put me in a room and they start um they put the they hook me up to the monitors and they start listening to baby noah's heartbeat and see if i have any contractions coming in and um i did i was having contractions and his heartbeat was good he was moving good he looked good in the monitor um, but I was having contractions and so she said it does look like you're dehydrated um, I'm like, how can you know that by just like seeing my contractions? She said um, Because the way that your uterus is contracting like how they're coming in and out 
that it looks like you're dehydrated so they gave me while i was there i was there for like maybe two hours while i was there they gave me two bags of iv um and they put the iv in through here and that thing hurt like a mother i'm probably gonna get a bruise because the needle was so big for my little veins um it hurts so bad and i'm usually not scared of like the pain of that um and then well we just waited to see what was happening with the IV, you know, like if it was doing good, like if it was like removing my contractions. Well, it wasn't. So I was still contracting and they had to come in. Oh, they checked my cervix. I am not dilated, so I'm still closed. Um, but they had to give me a shot here in my arm that stung like a bee because the IV, um, from my dehydration was not helping it so i was still contracting and they don't want to deliver this baby because i'm too early um and well, i'm not like super early but still I'm, I'm gonna be 32 weeks well by the time you watch this i i will already be 32 weeks um and you know that's that's early um so they gave me a shot and that's that's a whole other story like that shot made my heart race so bad I could hear my heartbeat in my ears that's how bad it was and she told me this is gonna happen but don't freak out I was like okay I don't do good with that um that's how bad it was and then they came in and they did an ultrasound to check baby noah baby noah is measuring basically two weeks ahead that's why my belly looks a lot bigger and he is approximately weighing four pounds 12 ounces um and that's just stop get out of there that's nasty <laughs> my god kids are so damn curious about everything and that is just an estimate like she told me um but whenever they took the um and he's head down but he's not in the canal yet he's just in a really weird c position like i don't know it's really weird she said it looks like he's just trying to find his way to the canal um and so they, the the nurse came back and she said that all like all like the ultrasound and my placenta and everything looked good so um they were gonna let me go but i was basically in preterm labor and i had a very mild uti in my urine so they gave me an antibiotic for that um and then Ernest went and picked me up at the hospital. Uh, Sophia was already sleeping and everything here. Um, she stayed with our friends um, at the at the hotel. So he went and he he went to go pick me up. But it's a it was a very scary feeling because one I don't want to have this baby right now, and I don't want to have this baby here in this city because god forbid i have this baby this baby would have to stay in the NICU because of how early he is in gestation and we don't want that so it was definitely it was definitely a lot in my mind and the fact that i was in preterm labor and it can possibly still happen is very scary what but that's my little update um that's my little update situation that happened so just wanted to update you guys and then we're just going to continue with the rest of the day but see you guys in a bit say you think about me because 
I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reason. Still, I'm hoping we'll be it's so bad with COVID that you have to wear your masks everywhere you go. Um, if not, they won't let you in. Uh, even inside the hotel, we have to wear our mask. So it's just for our protection. But I'm about to go to Starbucks drive through um, and then come back to the hotel because I don't have, I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not risking my butt or my daughter or Sophia's life for any of this bull crap. Oh God. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness. You're so big. Looking real pregnant. I don't I don't even know how I can still carry Sophia like look at my belly, like how big it looks already. And I figured that my face looks so swollen because both of the IV bags they gave me at the hospital. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> because we're staying in the hotel, I'm gonna uh, diffuse thieves because I'm kind of like a little bit scared. I didn't bring a dropper and this is uh, actually a roller, um, but we're just gonna make it work. I think that was quite a bit, but I'm gonna fill up the rest of the water and it's just gonna, it's really good for the air, uh, especially inside the room and really good for us for immunity support. to show you guys my bump look at this <laughs> my belly is so big like I am ready to pop um I don't even look pregnant by the front but by the side <laughs> there it goes Good dog, this. What are you doing? What? What? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Ernest is gonna go scuba dive today out in a boat, and uh, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for the time being because once he's done, we are going back home. But. Kind of sucks because I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself and Sophia for the time being because I think it's like, I think it's like four to five hours, um, but we will figure it out. My belly is so itchy right now, but I'll um, pop on here later. Tell me we can work it off and get back the past, not time.